Hey everyone, Rose here, and for today's video, I did a draw this in your style challenge. I've been following Puffy Gator over on Twitter for quite a while now. I really love her art, it's super colorful and cute. And I've definitely taken some inspiration from her work in a lot of mine, especially in this painting of Rose I made last year. So when she put up this draw this in your style challenge, I couldn't not join. The challenge is still up for a while, and there are even a couple of prizes, so for those of you who are interested, I've left a link in the description below. I've also linked to some of her other social medias, definitely go check her out. I really love her art, and I hope you would too. And now to the painting. I start out with a rough sketch, figuring out the pose and expression. Since my style is a bit more anthropomorphic, I push the expression a bit and make it kind of more human-like and make her look really smiley and wonderstruck. Once I'm happy with how the expression looks, I add some smaller details like the whiskers and some of the petally bits around the fur. I leave the sketch really rough because I found when I go too detailed and start making really small precise lines, the sketch really shines through in the final painting and it doesn't really work well together. So I move on to color really quickly. I start with the base orange and white and then add the color of the eyes and the nose, as well as the inside of the mouth. Then I add in the stripes and petally bits, as well as some color variation here and there, just to make it a bit more interesting. I also paint in the base colors for the background, and add in the whiskers. And now it's time for the lighting. As usual, I add a multiply layer for the basic shadows, as well as an overlay layer to add in some interesting highlights and make the whole thing brighter and glowier. I've been working a lot on improving my lighting recently, so you might notice that some stuff looks a bit different. In the past, I would blend out my shadows quite a lot, and that would kind of make everything look really soft and round, as if there was not really a clear light source but there is supposed to be a light source, so I paid attention to put my lights and shadows in places where they're supposed to be, not just kind of blend everything out so it vaguely looks lit. Now that I'm pretty much happy with the general idea of the lighting, I quickly add in the petals. They have this fun rainbowy gradient going across all the petals, so I tried to add that, as well as adding shading again to them to make sure they look like they're actual thin pieces of petal floating through the air and not just weird shapes. Then I add a bit more detail to the background, adding some stars and stuff like that. And now it's time to render. For that I merge down all my layers, except for the background and the petals which I keep separate, and I go ham. This is the part of the painting I spend by far the most time on. I usually go through with my color picker and a couple of brushes I like and just kind of select colors, mix them around, blend some edges, add smaller and smaller details. Uh, this is also the part where all my weird rough sketches kind of disappear just because I'm painting over them and adding more interesting detail around them. Occasionally I go in with an airbrush and an overlay layer or something like that to add in a bit of more interesting color or make some stuff pop more. But in general, just the whole process consists of me picking a color and putting it in a new place or just blending the edge between two colors and stuff like that. If you're interested in the brushes I use, I started using some of Critus default chalk and painting brushes, as well as some from the concept art and illustration bundle, which I've linked in the description below. There really isn't much left for me to say about this part of the process, so enjoy the music and see you all at the end.
it's done. This was really fun to make and I'm really really happy with how it turned out. When I started I actually thought it would look a lot more like the original. It might sound weird but I'm not super consciously aware of the fact that I actually have an art style. I've never tried to develop an art style, it just kind of comes naturally out of the way I see stuff and the way I feel most comfortable drawing stuff. So doing a challenge like this is really nice because I actually get to see that I do have an art style that looks somewhat distinct. I'm also really happy with the improvements I've been making recently. Not everyone might see them, but I definitely notice the places where I've improved over the last couple of weeks and months of practicing stuff. Well, that's all for me for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe and all that, and maybe check out some of the other videos to the right. I've put a link to all my social media in the description below, along with Puffy Gator's stuff. I hope you all have a nice rest of your day, and see you all next time.